Welcome visitors to Monet Cafe and my wonderful patrons from my Patreon page. I am going to do a little lesson in an easy study in painting tall grasses. I know sometimes I have a lot more uh, tutorials that are in depth and a lot of information. So sometimes we just need to take a break and tackle something a bit more basic or simple. So this is going to be available for both my patrons and here on the Monet Cafe YouTube channel. I am going to be doing a another very detailed video coming up soon on my Patreon page and you can join that at the link above. Now this is just a piece of Sennelier Le Carte pastel card. It's sanded. It's a pretty gritty sanded surface. I love the surface. So now I'm going to be quiet and I actually didn't have to do a voiceover for this Favorite one. Favorite general landscape um, formats or compositions. It's just probably because it's like trees in my backyard. Is just some some trees with a field that kind of goes off into the distance like this. And um, then there's these super, super tall grasses here. So you want to get your darkest dark on the tree line. Remember things that are vertical are dark. And uh, then I'm just going to get in some super tall grasses here. So if there's, this is like we were laying in the grass and looking up. So all these grasses, and I'm going to make them kind of splaying out a little bit like this. Okay. So, that's kind of easy, right? So get your darks in there. And um, now let's just uh, go ahead and get in some other kind of dark colors back here for the sky. I've got kind of a, a darker kind of a teal that I'm putting here. Um, usually things get lighter down at the horizon line, but in this case, behind trees, sometimes um, colors are a little darker. You don't want to do your lightest lights as sky holes. So I'm going to get some darks in here by these trees. And um, now let me just get another blue. I'm literally just grabbing what I have. I'm kind of getting in my lightest lights and my darkest darks. All right, I might have to reestablish. Uh, actually, I got another dark here. This is a, that one was kind of a dark blue. This is more of a really dark purple. So just getting in some interesting shapes. Notice I'm just using the side of my pastel and just kind of scumbling along. And I'm gonna go ahead and get some of that darker down here in the deeper grasses, usually the deepest grasses. Like if you were to lay down and take a photo, it's gonna be darkest, like right where you are. And then it's gonna gradually get lighter as you go back. So, okay, so we've just got what, uh, four colors in there, two darks and two teal colors. So now what we're gonna do, again, I'm just literally grabbing colors as I'm talking here. Um, I didn't pre-choose anything. Um, I'm going to take and get me kind of a, oh, this is dirty. Get me kind of a, a nice green here. When things go back far into the distance, they get horizontal, okay? Not vertical like grasses because they're so far away. You just literally cannot see those. And um, because this, uh, I'm gonna bring a little bit of that in here. This is Sennelier Le Carte paper, by the way. I love that stuff. Um, it's really gritty and um, the texture gives for a real painterly feel. Now, because um, there's these trees here, I want these greens um, where these trees are, I might even add a little purple in here, to be a little darker because there's kind of some shadows in here, okay? But we're still working with these horizontal shapes right there. All right, we've got some. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start getting kind of chunky here. Oh, my easel's shaking. Um, I wanna give the impression of like some chunky grasses. I am literally just suggesting here. I don't want to over, I don't, don't want to be sloppy and I don't want to overwork my painting, but at the same time, I want that spontaneity. Okay, so looky there, it's already looking a little like something. Now let's get, um, because I use some of these teals in the sky, I want to get uh, maybe a little darker. That's the one that I used. This is a little more green. Let me see if I can go even darker with something that I have here. Let's see what this, this is more of a neutral. Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, so we're down in these deep grasses. They're kind of shadowy and cooler in temperature. They're not gonna be as brilliant green. Our most brilliant greens are gonna be right here on the tips of these grasses. So let's just get in some of these. Again, reaching up, and I'm gonna accentuate that reaching up soon with some of these that are really going up high. Again, this is just a little teeny painting. When you don't have time to do anything and you're feeling you want to get creative, 
cut up lots of these little pieces of paper and paint small. It's a, uh, it's a great way to get those creative juices flowing when you don't have time. Now, this is the one that was a little brighter. And uh, again, the sun gets here, but it won't get in those deep grasses. So I'm going to add some chunky marks. Look at that chunkiness. I like these. This is, uh, you know, like just for that impressionistic feel. Okay, so this light's coming in there. All right, let's see now. Let's get in. I feel like I need a little bit of a an orangey color in here somewhere, um, like it's a bright day. That's probably too light. Let me get something a little bit um, darker here. Maybe like right in, yeah, like that. Okay, like we got some golden grasses coming up in here. Again, I, I like the idea of them kind of spreading out. They're kind of peeking in here and there. And obviously, these grasses are going to, the ones that are sticking up, they're going to get a little bit smaller as they go back into the distance. And I don't want to overdo that. So now I'm going to get to where they are turning a bit more golden in color. It's going to be right back here, the tips of these. So we're going to do a few little chunky marks where these are peeking up over everything. Some of those might be a little large, but it's okay. Okay, now it's gonna get even more golden as it goes back into the distance here. Let me find one, this one right here. Okay, so, and now things are getting further away. So they're not as, um, there's not as much definition. Might do a little bit of this. Kind of glazing across here. Again, these little grasses are getting smaller, smaller, smaller. I feel like I need some purple going on in here. So let me grab, this is, this is really, this is just, I love these gorgeous purple colors. So purples make a great shadow and they just, I don't know, they just add something special. So I'm going to add some of these purples in here. Again, they, just like the cooler greens, they make a really nice shadowy color. I'm gonna reinforce some of these darks in here, give our idea of tall grasses again, kind of reaching up and out. And let me get that uh, purple again. It's kind of a really rich, deep purple. And for contrast, I'm gonna add a few of these in that are just uh, really more defined. So we get that feeling we're laying down in the grass again. And this Sennelier Le Carte paper um, is really, um, takes a decent amount of layering. And I'm gonna lighten these trees up again, but um, I wanted to get that feeling of um, definition and contrast for the trees. Now, I think I wanna make, this is a little dark. I'm going with a really light touch here. I think I wanna make a, a tree line of some distant trees going back here. So I'm gonna cool that off now by adding, cooling things off makes things look like they're further away. So I'm gonna cool it off by adding just a layer on top of this, of this um, teal color and see how that just pushed that back. We might have a little bit more of this. going on back here and I'll even grab a cooler um, blue or teal back here this one's too light I bet well maybe not look we got some other trees really going far back there all right so now let me get an even cooler I think that this was the one that I used here yeah but I'm gonna kind of carve down in between some of these trees I kind of like a little bit of that Sennelier paper showing there. Sorry for my easel moving around. And here's the, that darker one. Now I'm going to blend this a little bit more with another value to kind of connect the two there. Probably that was the high one in the sky. That was the low one. So I can actually just take this one and kind of glaze over it. That's the beautiful thing about the sanded paper. 
there's so much blending possibility and often you do not have to blend with your um, fingers or any any other blending tool because the pastels do it themselves now i'm loving this color in the sky i need a little bit more of that darker color down here in the grasses again we're, we're representing that chunky tall grass feeling Maybe a little more of that purple down in here. Might need a little bit of this. Yeah, I like that little lighter purple kind of peeking down some of these places. But I always feel like if I add it some here, I gotta add it somewhere else. Let's just put a little bit of that purple right back there. Maybe a little bit like there's a tree real far away back there. That's fun. Okay. All right, I feel like I need a little bit more of that. Since I added that gold in there, I feel like I need a little bit more of a, bring some of this down in here maybe. Just a little. Kind of peeking through the grasses. All right, now I need to brighten, I mean, um, dull out those trees a little bit. They're a little too, um, dark right now. So let me see if I can find a green. They look like black trees right now. So I want to add, I've got this, um, it's dirty, but I've got this um, kind of a darker green. And all I'm doing is scumbling, just kind of making some marks here and keeping that really loose impressionistic feel a little bit on those. Usually you keep the darks a little bit down by the base of the trees. And um, I'm gonna kind of add some of this with thicker grasses down in here so this dark isn't so dark. And we're almost done. We've got a little field going on here. All right, I think I'm gonna really accentuate some of that golden color. This might be a little overkill, but I'm gonna give it a try. I like it actually. It's like those beautiful golden grasses that the sun just barely hits them. There's some of them even over here. And so again, doing these tall grasses, the majority of it is dark in the front. And um, then it just has a very thin line of the horizontal bands because the grass is so tall. All right, I'm gonna blue out that sky a little bit. I feel like it's a little bit too teal. So I kind of like this blue. Yeah, I like that. Gives a little bit. I love when you um, give a combination of colors that makes it really um, interesting instead of just one color family. I think I'll add some tall grasses just kind of sticking up. A way to do that is um, with these new pastels. Again, I like the feeling of them kind of reaching out. I don't want to bring them too far down here because again, if you're down in the deep roots, there's not going to be a whole lot of that. And I need a little bit of a darker value probably going up across here. So let me get a little bit darker, new pastel. I'm gonna get this right here. These new pastels are just great at making lines. And this gives you that feeling definitely of tall grasses when you just stick some up way high like that. And I, I don't like how I have lines so, um, um, even going right across there. So I do like a little bit of this dark color in there. So I'm going to kind of break that um, up that I've got and make it a little bit more random. Oh yeah, I like that, that rich color I just added. Didn't that add some oomph to it? Look at that. Oh, I feel like I sound like Bob Ross. <laughs> All right, so there's a tall grass painting. Voila. Um, now one thing that would make this look a little bit... Um, uh, probably more finished is to take and carve in some sky holes. Not a lot, 
just a couple. Um, this is basically negative painting. Oh, I'm hitting my camera with the my glasses. <laughs> and that gives it a kind of a it it you you as the artist can choose where you want the viewer to look and when you add those little marks like that you create interest and you can guide the viewer where you want them to go i kind of like the idea of guiding a little bit of interest back here so that you play around in the grasses and then you you want to explore back in there where this is and i feel like i need to add a little bit more of that blue i actually have a uh, this purpley it's like, I call this the, like the periwinkle color. Oh yeah, that's pretty interesting. Let's add a little bit of that in here. Yeah, that made that sky way more interesting with that. You just feel it going back into the distance, very energetic. So there it is, a tall grass painting. And I actually, for the final, wanted to show that I added some more of that teal uh, to reflect what was going on in the sky and kind of connect the painting all together as a whole. I hope you enjoyed that. Give this a try. You see, it doesn't take really any longer than 15 minutes. So have fun, keep practicing. And if you are one of my patrons, please share your final result if you try this in our Patreon group that I have on Facebook. All right, guys, happy painting and get out there and paint some tall grasses.